their name is Yog Sothoth. Mike check. Mike. No, that, that's Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike check. Mike check, check, check. You Mike, check. Mike, Mike, Mike Russian. Mike not check. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know what to do with my hands. Nice. Now I do. Him. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. There's a set. Scene one, take 57. Is this where we get to play with knives? Hey, I'm Mike Slater, and this is Tom Roach. We are Red Duke Games coming at you tonight. We are going to uh, show you something from the Necronom Nom Nom. This is going to be the Mego to go sandwich, portobello stack sort of thing. And we're gonna play with knives. And then we're gonna drink. It's, it's always best when we, when we do it in that order. Right, yeah, yeah. right Tom, right? <laughs> Tom doesn't have his robe tonight because we did things in a different order yes. last time. And it's still at the cleaners, isn't it? Yeah, my mm -hmm. robe is in the cleaners. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> we are going to get started and you're going to wish you were cooking this. Cleanse yourself, and then the fungoids. All right, let's let's switch. Oh, I'm gonna clean them. No, no, I'm just gonna play with the knives. Now, these portobellos have been pre-decapitated. The poor fellows. Uh, yes, pre-decapitated. I know, I know. We promised you you could do the decapitating. <laughs> You're gonna get to chop the other things, okay? Ooh. Look, there's, there's things for you to chop with. You get to pick tonight. It's gonna be great. Anyway, <laughs> now we need to cleanse these. Okay. You do that. These are pretty. Fragments. There are fragments. I guess the headsman one isn't that good. Yeah. He needs practice. Take 12 for that. Consulting the tome. Next, you will apply the oils. No, I'm sorry, this is not a cutting part. <sighs> oils, both sides of the portobellos. The oil oils behind you. The oils. In the white cup. Um, you may want to do this over the pan. Yes, let's do this over the pan. Let's bring the portobellos to the pan. I'll just bring the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the worst face. Right. Are there? Okay. Right. We want to preheat the. Well, we don't. Want, we never want to put oil in a hot pan. Right. But we do want to perform. The ritual Anointing. of unturning this off because the ambassadors from Ulthar like to play around on it when they're not supervised properly. All right. So, put that on medium. I'll do Ish. The yes, you do the anointing. drizzled on both sides. We will season both sides. We need a hot pan. It, it's warming up. Yes. So. Now in here I have commingled the freshly ground pepper, the garlic, and the salt. Two pinches of each. One side. Mm -hmm. Drizzle, drizzle with the cup. Mm -hmm. 
flip that over. I think we're going to need a bigger pan. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to do them two at a time. Yes. <laughs> Good. I can probably kick that up a notch or two. Yeah. Kick it up a notch or two. While the portobellos simmer on high heat, because I said high before, not medium, I said high, we will begin the chopping. Does someone say chopping? Y yes. Chopping. I, I said chopping. All right. Finally. Well, why don't you begin the chopping? Make uh, tomato slices as big as the portobellos. You're probably not going to okay. get big. You figure it out. out. <laughs> All right. Okay. You watch the portobellos to make sure that they don't. Yes, destabilize or attempt to return to their home dimension. because they're so easy to handle. Someone said we need a bigger pan. I think they might have been right. So we need four slices. So we're gonna get two slices out of each tomato. some thick slices. Yes. I like tomato. And chopping things. Yes, you'll have to put it down temporarily. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so those are the two slices Set that we're going to be using. Yes. So we're going to repeat the same ritual with the tomatoes once the portobellos are finished, which they should almost be through the magic of time dilation which the Migos are masters of we will um, fast forward through this part and move to the next part where we're doing the same thing but to a different vegetable matter okay yes fungi aren't vegetables I know now we will summon forth the bread from the elemental dimension of ciabatta. Ciabatta bada, ciabatta bada. <laughs> hey, ciabatta swing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> breads. Chop them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Come on, make with the cutting. Yes. Even slices? Yes because you're going to have to put one of those huge portobellos on each of them. So yeah, right okay. in the middle. <laughs> oh, God, I see what you knives, mean. Knives, knives. <laughs> Always cut away from your hand. Yes. Had a bad ritual, it was not fun. All right, we are almost ready. Yes, I think we've tortured them enough. Yes, the screaming has stopped. Excellent. All right, now to repeat. <laughs> you know, that's higher, <laughs> than, that's higher than the magic eye, Tom. <laughs> Begin the drizzling. That was a satisfying thud. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Got it. Uh, now, we shall anoint the red ones with the remaining spices. Be careful not to set your ceremonial robe on fire, kids. A 
I'm so proud of Mike. Six months ago, he couldn't do this. And he's still not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, these tomato slices weigh a pound and a half a piece, so, you know, there's that. Oh, and so much spattering. <sighs> the mistress of the Sanctum Savorum is going to murder us if she gets home before we can clean up. Don't worry, you'll go second. All right. Again, through the magic of time dilation, we will probably fast forward through this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the mushrooms back in the pan with the tomato on each. Wow, I see your point. These are some big tomatoes. I will bring forth the tongs of helpingness. <laughs> Here, flip that over. There we go. All right, we'll do it that way. The tongs of helpfulness. They're plus two. <clears throat> this is why we should have decapitated it further. Yes, well, we didn't. I have uh, toothpicks. All right. Find me a toothpick. Find me the magic toothpick. Well, hold on. That one worked. You're doing the thing, Mike. I'm doing the things. Hold on. <clears throat> going to get a very sharp thing. <clears throat> I got it. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, you got it. I already got it. No, uh, I was going to. Never mind. Okay, this is where we co we're going to cover the. Uh... Yes. Do we have the cover? Yes, we, do. we have the cover. We're gonna let that sit for, just allow the cheese to melt. Yep. And give a nice melty look to the top of the uh, offering. Yes, mostly it's so that we can press the Migo effigies into the cheese easier and they'll stick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. Because it's not Migo to go without the, the Migo on, and, on, and the, on the top. Right, and yes. we need to be able to make it go. Yeah, it'll, it'll, <laughs> trust me, they're delicious. They'll, they're, they'll yes, go. They'll, they'll go. go. Yes. All right. Don't. Yes. We, yeah. There we go. We don't want to. Don't want to. Um, Squish. Hit the cheese if you, you leave, do the We're thing with it. Yes. There we there go. There we go. Yes. Now, can we do it again? Yes. Excellent. Those are pretty. Move the heat. Yes, take those over to the table. Oh. <laughs> yes, I made noises. He does that. All right, now, the critical part. We have to garnish and adorn the Migos to go with the Migos to go, to go. So you will need a bit of time. We have all the time in the world. Well, I, I, I think you bought all the time in the Wegmans anyway. These will be the, the legs, the insectile alien legs. And yes, of all the time that we have here and all the, what's the other, the, um, put these down. Oh, it's full. And then the wings, which are, the wings are time. That's how you get Wait for it. Wait for it. I did say wait. Time dilation effects. See, it's, it's time, time and, dill. And, it's, and it's dill. <sighs> I can't really stop myself, so no apologies. It's too late now, anyway. The ritual is near its completion. Yes.
Ah. Bring down, big man down. <clears throat> now, you take the bodies, which of course are the cashews, which were totally soaked overnight. Right, Tom? Correct. Totally. Not like just the last hour since we started. But um, yeah, so we totally did that the way we were supposed to. You're gonna place the body between the legs and the wings. And then for the heads. The blackberry. Yes. The blackberry heads. Oh, your wing has come off. Poor, poor little Pico. We can fix you. We can make you better, faster. We can eat you. Behold, we have summoned forth the Migo to go. to go. Good chopping, Tom. I get to play with more knives? You do. And remember, folks, in your handy dandy Necronom Nom Nom, in the back are the demystified versions of the recipes, just in case you don't want to do it on hard mode. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, I'm a man of many words. You are a man of many words. And we're going to eat these now. Hey, Mike. Or real soon. We, yes. did, we did a thing. We did a thing. <laughs> we did a thing. We did a thing. <laughs> cool. Oh, wait. We have bread cut already. Good. Yes. yes. Okay. We've already summoned this from the dimension of ciabatta. Back up. <laughs> yes. Always back up when Tom is chopping the things. Like butter. <laughs> Whoops, missed. You missed. <laughs> See how well this incredible fighting knife from Riddle of Steel cuts tomatoes? Oh, just kidding. Oh. I saw what you did there. Saw. Wah, wah, wah. Get that turned off and get the... Final accoutrements. Like it is time. No, no, no. This is. Yes, you're right. This is time. Deal with the other stuff. The wings, which are dill. The wings of time. No, it's dill. Uh, Wait, yes. Dill. <laughs> Dill. Do. All right. Uh, and now the cashew. The cashew bodies. The bodies. Do not throw them away, or else I'll have to catch you. <laughs> We're just gonna make sure that one gets buried. 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 <clears throat> Ta-da! <laughs> be afraid, be very afraid. For me go to go. <laughs> you know what? What's that? We could use a drink to go with this. Ooh. How about something from... Dun, dun, dun! Ah! We'll be right back. All right, so... What would go with these beautiful Migos to go? The Migos said we were gonna. Off. Yes, it did. <laughs> Stupid amigo. Stay. Uh, well, how about a wine cooler? In fact, how about Joseph Kerr Wines Cooler? This comes to you from the forthcoming Lovecraft Cocktails. And uh, that will be out in time for Halloween from Countryman Press. And you're gonna get an early look at one of the first recipes shown to the unsuspecting public. So, what's in Joseph Kerwine's cooler? 
This is a super simple cocktail to make. Hey, Mike. Yes. Well, what's in the cooler? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. I have pre-staged the essential salts. Um, so you have your nutmeg, you have your cinnamon, you have basil, you have the white sugar and the brown sugar. And I don't know where to you're going to muddle them. But in the shaker with the ice, they will self muddle. So I'm not going to show that part in there are essential salts. <clears throat> Remember, no salt in this. That's essential. And we have, um, now that we have everything in there, we are gonna add um, pretty much everything but the fruit for garnish and the club soda. Go through so the ingredients. I'm going to go through the ingredients. All right, two basil leaves, the teaspoon of white sugar, the teaspoon of brown sugar, the quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, the half teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon, I can read. <laughs> All right, so then Cut two that. ounces of Sauvignon Blanc, forgive my French, uh, three quarter ounce of a ruby port, one ounce of Bombay Sapphire, two ounces of tangerine juice. Uh, Dancy's, if you can find it, fresh squeezed works just fine. If not, see, freshly squeezed. And Is it a problem with that, getting really thirsty? Yes, but <laughs> we're going to satisfy that quickly. All right, so all these go in your shaker with the ice in it. You can, you know, make mad scientist noises as you go if you like, of course, I wouldn't stop you. <laughs> and Tom goes right for the knives. Oh, of course he does. All right, close that up. Shake vigorously. Remember, you're muddling. So you can muddle to yourself. Yog sotos, yog sotos. Okay. That part's done. Now, this awesome strain, awesome shaker from Elevated Craft has a pre-built-in strainer, so we don't have to use an extra piece. We're gonna pour that in, leaving space for the club soda. Damn, I'm good. Almost. And then your garnish, which is gonna be hugely comically oversized for these glasses, but that's fine. Little stir. Knife. <laughs> yes, Tom. Yes, Tom, knife. Good Tom, knife. Here, Tom, now drink. Oh. And to your health in this world and the next. Miguel, you make a fine drink. That is awesome. This one is uh, submitted by Miguel Fligur, author of um, Cooking with Lovecraft and um, has several entries in the new book. It's always great to collaborate with. Love you, Miguel. And that's Joseph Kerwine's Cooler. We need to make more of these. We will make more of these. <laughs> we have stuff to make more of these. Good. You still have some. It's not gonna be long for this world. No, it's not, neither of those. It's time to eat, and uh, that's what we're gonna go do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you, um, I don't know, have any sort of things that you're wondering about, we'll attempt to answer them. They don't even have to be related to the book. Web, um, website? The website, yes. www.reddukegames.com. Thanks, guys.